Hey guys, Ivan here and this video we're gonna begin with the Peter Molnar update 8 weeks out of Arnold Classic and before we get into it I just wanna say Happy New Year everyone and uh, I wasn't active these past couple of days because I was actually in Hungary in Budapest where Peter Molnar is actually from and this is his physique right now at 8 weeks out and he looks pretty freaking amazing. Now, you guys know that Peter Molnar, back when he was doing bodybuilding in, uh, in IFBB, in European IFBB, he was really good. He was big and he looked impressive, but he wasn't as big as some of the top open guys. He wasn't close to big rabbit size or anything like that, so we thought if he can actually make the weight, he's gonna do really well in classic physique in NPC and IFBB Pro League. But... As it turned out, he actually had to lose quite a few pounds of muscle tissue. So he did that, he lost maybe about 10 pounds, something like that. He lost some muscle and the end result didn't look that impressive. Not as impressive as he looked when he was doing bodybuilding. So downsized version of Peter Molnar is not as impressive as he can be when he doesn't have to worry about the weight. So he didn't do that well, not as well as we thought at least. I personally thought that he has a chance of actually winning the Mr. Olympia, but, you know, once he lost the size, it didn't look that good. So, now, he's 8 weeks out of Arnold Classic, but now he looks better, right? He looks really impressive in this video, I mean, he looks, he looks bigger, he looks more, he looks rounder, he looks just overall more impressive. And no, he's not doing bodybuilding or 212, actually 212 is not gonna be at the Arnold Classic. He's doing classic physique and this is what he looks like right now at 8 weeks out. He looks really, I mean, he looks really conditioned, right? In the caption of this video he said that he was dieting during the holidays. He doesn't wanna relax too much and take this lightly. He wants to be at his best at this Arnold Classic. And soon we will find out how well will he do. I wouldn't like to say he's gonna surprise us because not so long ago we thought he might win the Mr. Olympia. So, you know, placing well at the Arnold wouldn't be, shouldn't be such a surprise, but based on his previous performance, it kind of would. Because right now, not as many people have high expectations of Peter Molnar, including myself. But based on this video, I would say that he has a chance of cracking the top 5 at the Arnold Classic. Which is huge! Considering that the four guys from the top five at the Mr. Olympia are doing the Arnold Classic. So if he does that, if he actually cracks the top five, that would be really big for him. And if he does better than five, that would be insane, actually. So I wish him all the luck. He looks amazing right now. Tell me what you guys think about his physique and how well will he do the Arnold Classic. Alright, next we have an update of uh, Sunit Jadhav, if that's how you pronounce his name, I'm not sure. He's an Indian bodybuilder and uh, he is looking really impressive. He has some freaky body parts, uh, he has a freaky shape and uh, a lot of people wanted to see him in classic physique because he does have a classic shape, but apparently he just turned pro recently in bodybuilding and uh, he's gonna have a pro debut this year. Who's gonna help him prep for his pro debut? Honey Ramba, the coach of Jay Cutler, the coach of uh, Phil Heath, the coach of many other champions, uh, Mr. Olympia winners in all divisions. Now, Honey Ramba, you guys know who he is. He is one of the best coaches in the world. He does wonders with some people. He's really good at his job. So, you can expect Sunit to actually do really well at whichever division he decides to do. Now, I don't know if he's big enough. Actually, he's small enough for classic physique, I think he's too big for that division, I think he will be doing 212 because he is quite short, so I don't think he should do bodybuilding, I don't know if he should do classic, probably not the other guys in the top at the Mr. Olympia in classic physique are, you know, just too classic, way more classic than him they're more proportional, more symmetrical, so I don't think he would do that well in classic, but in 212 where, you know, symmetry is not as important as it is in classic but the freakiness, the bubbly kind of look, you know, that he has a 3D type of look, he can do really well in 212 uh, with his height, so I think he should do that, and I think he will, but probably we will find out quite soon, as soon as I find out, I will post it here, so guys, subscribe. Alright, so after a while, we finally got an update of Hunter Labrada, now, this guy took 4 to the Mr. Olympia, and he disappeared. Now, he surprised many of us. I mean, the year before he was 8th, and uh, this year he jumped up 4 spots. So that was huge. Now, we didn't see anything of him. We thought, is he even training? What the hell is he doing? And finally, we got an update, and he looks good. 
he looks big and round and really lean as well. I don't know if he was pushing things in the past couple of months. I don't think so. I think he would have looked even more impressive if he did. I think he went off the cycle. He probably was just uh, off of everything, you know, taking the time to relax and try to maintain as much as possible. And he maintained quite a lot. And, you know, he, he, when he got the fullness back and everything, but um, he doesn't look much bigger than he looked at the Mr. Olympia, really. Uh, and he's not close to Nick Walker's size right now, who was one spot behind uh, Hunter Labrada, who was fifth while Hunter was fourth. So Nick is 290 right now and Hunter only 270. Not saying that 270, 272, as he says here, uh, is light. <laughs> he's not light, he's, he's heavy, but uh, he's not as big as Nick Walker. And he doesn't look as impressive as Nick. So I'm guessing uh, Nick didn't go off. Nick pushed things uh, in, in his uh, rebound phase while Hunter took some time off to relax. And uh, he started his prep for the Mr. Olympia. He has almost a year now. Maybe you guys remember, but Hunter said that his offseason is not starting before 2022. So after pushing his body to the max and actually getting that fourth spot at the Mr. Olympia, he decided to take some time off to let his body heal. Now he's qualified for the Mr. Olympia, so he doesn't need to prep twice. He can just push his body during the year, try to grow even more, progress, get better, get to, you know, work on details and stuff, and then get ready for the Mr. Olympia at the very end of the year. It's in December, so he has enough time. If I remember correctly, Nick Walker also said that his offseason is not going to start before the 2022. Uh, he also pushed his body even more, actually, more than Hunter during the year, so he probably should have uh, took some time off, but he didn't. And, you know, it worked well for him, he grew. Uh, so Hunter didn't do that, um, he took some time off, he stayed uh, at a little bit lower weight, but I'm sure as soon as he pushes things, as soon as he starts force-feeding and training like a maniac and, you know, doing everything he needs to do, uh, he's probably gonna jump as high as Nick, like up to 280, 290, maybe even 300, that would be interesting. So we'll see what's gonna happen with him uh, during the rest of his offseason. But right now, for a starting point, he looks great. Now, I'm not even sure if he actually took some time off after Mr. Olympia, but I'm just guessing based on this look. Whatever you guys think about it, tell me in the comment section down below. Next, we have Brett Wilkin at 9 weeks out of Arnold Classic, looking absolutely huge. Now, he, is, he grew a lot in this offseason. He grew like 7 to 10 pounds, as he says. So that was just crazy. It made his uh, uh, voice change. <laughs> so he grew a lot. But here in this photo, I mean, he looks big, right? And he looks really lean. But this is a time period when he's just uh, getting depleted. You know, he's losing the glycogen. His muscles are getting flatter, but his body fat percent is not really getting lower at the same rate. So this is the the period, like first couple of weeks, three, four weeks, you look at you look your worse. Then later, as you actually lose some body fat and you fill up the glycogen stores, you don't require as much. You know, you just start to look much better, and this is this is probably the worst he's gonna look during this entire prep. But it still looks very impressive. And uh, you guys know that my prediction is actually him winning the Arnold Classic. I know it's 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 probably ridiculous because you don't really know how he looks compared to William Bonek, Brandon Curry, and a bunch of other great bodybuilders. Nathan Diasha, I don't know, a lot of great bodybuilders are doing it. Uh, so we don't really know that, but. I just have a feeling, you know, seeing him at the, at the Chicago Pro, he looked really amazing, so I, I think he's going to do well at the Arnold Classic, maybe just as well as winning <laughs> the entire show. Uh, based on this update right now, he looks big, full. I think his arms look bigger and fuller now than the last time uh, he did an offseason, so I think he made progress to, in, in the right spots, right? So whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. Do you think he can actually win the Arnold Classic, and what do you think he looks like right now? All right, so finally we have an update of Cedric McMillan. And this is not something you see every day, but he decided to actually start posting more stuff, more updates during his prep for the Arnold Classic. In this post that he made, he actually wrote a caption that is basically a message to guys like myself, to guys who are doing bodybuilding news, who are criticizing bodybuilders. 
So he says, a lot of us pros don't post as we start prep and progress. I think it's because we don't want to deal with being overanalyzed by some dudes sitting on the toilet scrolling Instagram. Haha. <laughs> My anxiety is so bad, I get nervous even about sending progress to a coach or even um, just recording and looking at myself. I've done whole preps without making videos or pics. So this is an attempt to overcome a challenge. So here, critics, enjoy this meal, haha. <laughs> and remember, as we all get ready for the Arnold Classic Sports, we need you to let us know how good or bad you think we are. An emoji that is smiling, so he's being sarcastic. He doesn't want myself and the others to actually give our opinion on what his physique looks like right now. I will do it regardless. <laughs> this is my job, this is what I'm doing on YouTube, so I want to give you my thoughts. Uh, what I think right now, what he looks like, I don't know, I feel like he's not gonna do well. That, that's my opinion, that's just what I honestly think. Yeah, there is uh, eight weeks left, so he can actually progress more. There is this thing called uh, body recomposition, or like Kevin Leveroni used to call it, growing into the show. So if he can actually pull that stuff off, he can probably look, you know, good, but I don't know. I feel like his, uh, his best days are in the past. I feel like Cedric McMillan is pretty much done. Now, you know, if he is actually so devoted that he wants to post stuff uh, frequently as he progresses, then maybe he wants to do some things differently. Maybe he's maybe he got the drive back. Maybe that's the reason he didn't look very well uh, in the past couple of shows. Maybe, maybe that injury wasn't really the issue. Maybe he's completely recovered and now he's gonna get back to his old self. But, you know, I highly doubt that. I actually talked to the organizer of the Legion Sports Fest uh, and he said that uh, Cedric needed to leave the stage, leave the, leave the show after the pre-judging because he was really uh, sick, his stomach wasn't okay. But after that show he posted a story on his IG and he said that uh, he, he said something like, uh, I officially suck. So he didn't like what he what his physique looked like and I didn't like it either, I think he was probably at his worst. And it seems like he's getting worse every show he does recently. So this Arnold Classic, after this Arnold Classic, we're gonna know where Cedric is standing. If he doesn't do really well, like top three, we're gonna know that his career is coming to the end. If he does well, if he actually cracks like the top three, then uh, it's not over yet. Maybe he can actually even improve more on that. So we'll see in about eight weeks. I hope he didn't really push things too much uh, lately and that's why he didn't look very good. And if he actually pushes things to the max, now in the next eight weeks before the Anno Classic, he can actually grow into the show and start looking more and more impressive, which is something I really don't think is gonna happen, I doubt. But anything is possible, we'll see in eight weeks. And you guys make sure to tell me what do you think about Cedric's physique right now and about his future. Is he done or is there more fuel in that tank? Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this whole video, please give it a like. And for more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.